Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Lace, uh, more power outages today just because the wind's a little Boy, higher, I guess. That's right. We've had a little more lightning overnight. Could have contributed to some of that. Also, yes, that ripping wind, as you can see, Old Glory really waving there. We've had wind gusts 45 to 50 in central Oklahoma overnight. We're still getting gusts close to 50 down around the Red River and over towards Tulsa. Roadways are wet. The heaviest of rain has let up for now here in Oklahoma City. We're still getting some showers. We've got our crews out on the roadways monitoring things for you. If we come across any concerns, we'll let you know. And hand We'll have a traffic update for you in just a minute. Wind advisory taking us through 8 a.m. It is a gusty breeze and it is a north wind coming in that is definitely having an impact on your temperatures. Here are the maximum gusts just since midnight. Had a 50 up near Chandler. Had a couple 50 mile an hour wind gusts near Tulsa. Bulk of the power outages right now are in this portion of the state to the east, but also down around the Red River wind gusts close to 50. Rainfall totals so far when you add up what we had yesterday combined with the overnight and this morning, 1.3 inches at the airport inch and a half in Guthrie two inches in El Reno two and a half in Hinton a good soaking rain all 77 counties getting at least some moisture unfortunately like we told you northwestern Oklahoma not quite as much nearly three inches south of Lawton and we've had two to three to almost four inches in eastern Oklahoma with more rain coming on down of course yesterday that came at the price of severe weather and a few tornadoes we had five tornado reports we were showing this to you live let me show you the video from Tom Pastrana Tom and Val both right there on this tornado as it touched down about 830 yesterday morning just west of Mustang. This is Daryl with Tom shooting that video from his cell phone. We were live on the air with that and our trackers were all over it. And again, not just that tornado. There were five. Let me take you back to the map and show you where they touched down. The EF zero has been raided there a couple miles west of Mustang, just north of Mustang. Another brief tornado there. We had a couple south of Tecumseh in Pottawatomie County and another one near Kanawha. Val was on these in Pottawatomie County. His brother Vaughn was on the tornado there in Kanawha. So they were brief. They were quick, but they were there this morning. A lot of spin in the atmosphere, but it's completely different at the low levels. And today we're not talking about a tornado risk, but we are still talking rain. So it is a soggy start to the day. Be prepared for it. Rain winds down close to sunrise this morning. Just after it'll start to come to an end. And today the rain's moving from the north to the south. Showers across central Oklahoma. Heaviest rain just up to the north. So could have some pea sized hail with that cell in and around the Guthrie area. Light to moderate rain in northern Oklahoma. And back from Prague to Stroud to Seminole down to Ada, all the way from Geary to Hinton to Nineca. And this is the back edge. The system is scooting to the east, even though the precip's moving from the north to the south. The whole wave is moving away, and that will pull the rain away from us as we head through mid morning. But it's still raining this morning. It's 48 degrees on our Pike Pass Skycam network. Look at that northwest wind now gusting 25 to 30 in central Oklahoma, and that's creating a wind chill. So our temperatures are in the 40s. By the way, a hard freeze going on in the panhandle where skies have been clear. Clear. Wind chills in the panhandle have been in the teens across the rest of the state with cloud cover that wind chills in the 30s and low 40s. This afternoon, watch the skies clear out. Lunchtime, partly cloudy, sunny into your afternoon and evening, and the wind tapers off. So a lighter wind with temperatures rebounding back into the mid 60s. So this morning, rain will come to an end. This afternoon, highs climb back into the mid 60s, a little warmer in western Oklahoma. You'll have sunshine longer and watch future next gen. By 7 o'clock, we're kind of getting the back edge of the rain here in Oklahoma City. Still a few showers, maybe a couple sprinkles through nine. Then we're done and the cloud cover moves out this afternoon. We are sunny, still a little breezy until the evening and then the winds completely die off. So in water vapor imagery, look at the spin. This is a potent storm system that kicked up all the wind overnight. That thing is making its way off towards the east. Look at the low there. No surprise that the precip's now moving from the north to the south being driven by the system. Our next storm though is coming into the Pacific Northwest Coast. And that brings rain right back to Oklahoma coming up by the end of the week. Tonight we're dry, we're clear, 30s and 40s. Tomorrow morning we're dry. Tomorrow afternoon, 60s and 70s. And here's your Thursday, 60s and 70s on the way. Winds kick up Thursday and our next storm system approaches. It's going to bring a cold front into the northwest. And I do think by Thursday evening we'll have a chance for showers and a few thunderstorms in the north and northwest. By Friday morning, rain likely in central and southwestern 
northern Oklahoma. We look to dry it out Friday afternoon, and as this thing kind of swirls and pivots around the state, Saturday morning, additional rain chances coming back up. Then we're dry Saturday afternoon, 66 on Sunday for Halloween on Monday. Temperatures in the upper 60s. It looks great for trick-or-treating, and yet another storm system with more precip chances by next Wednesday.